Tayo po ay nasa Saliso, Oklahoma. Pinasyalan po natin dito yung manugang po ni Mel Sims na walang iba kundi si Ginong Jeff Pierce. So, good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I saw that your son is also into the game foul. He's very much interested in the game foul, yes. He, he helps me a great deal. His name is Blake. His name is Blake. Blake it runs, Pierce. It runs in their blood. Uh, yeah, it runs yeah. in the blood. He's got it from both ends. My, my, my father was a uh, rooster fighter and my wife's father was a rooster fighter, so he has no choice. My, my wife's dad was Mel Sims. He was when it was legal. Uh, we don't have the freedom here that you have over there. Right now, uh, it is illegal in our state here. So other than your dad, father-in-law, your father is my, also in game fowl? My father was in game fowl as well, yes. Mm -hmm. yes he, and was he breeding the same chicken that you have here? Some of the same ones, yes. Mm -hmm. Some of, my, mine are basically bred from my, my father and from my father-in-law. The birds that we have here, how many, how many bloodlines do you carry? Uh, I, I carry the Hatch, Kelso, Roundhead, Gray, and the Black Blood. Uh -huh. And they've, they've all done well for me. What uh, Hatch are you using? Are they Seacomb or just Peacomb? Most of my Hatches are, are, are about 90% uh, Peacomb. Uh, they're the Penmar Hatch. I, I've bred them for the last 30 years and, and they're, they're my, I've made them up myself. And we've been, we've been very successful with them. That's why this farm is called Penmar. That's why the farm is called Penmar, yes. My father was, originate the name Penmar. And he asked me to carry it on, so that's that's where that comes from. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was from uh, we had a game fowl farm in Maryland, and his partner was in Pennsylvania, so we, they fought under Penmar. Oh, and, I see. And, yeah, right. and, and right. we and I've just kept that name for the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. What are the names of the partners, your dad and his partner? Uh, my dad was Charlie Pierce. Okay. And that time, at the time, his name, his uh, partner's name was uh, Henry Stinger. Uh huh. So. Oh, I see. So, uh, talagang magagaling ang manok dito, partner. Talaga. Uh, antigo, no? Uh, it's uh, down the line. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Even the, the grays, the calzos, they're very beautiful. Are these grays, did they come from milk? The grays, a lot of the blood came from milk. Yeah, they uh, call nothing, them the Oregon grays. Nothing to explain gray. about that. Okay, uh, Everybody in the Philippines knows they know. what, what are, you know, these yeah. grays. Yeah, they've, they've been, we've done very well with them. Yeah. Right. I know, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how about the hatch? The, the hatch is, was made up uh, from my father and then, then down to me. Oh, the Penmar Hatch. The Penmar Hatch, yes. Mm -hmm. And what else? The black? The black blood uh, is just about all the old male blood that, that Mel gave me, yes. Mel, Mel Sims? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Mel Sims gave me the black blood. Oh, okay. Did you add anything to that? I've got one side there. I've added just a, a touch of another black blood. I've got a light side and a dark side. Mm -hmm. The dark side carries uh, a little more of a new line that I've bred into them and I like them very well. How, how do we get in touch in case uh, we might like to get some of those cones and the, those blacks that you're very famous for? Uh, just call me. Mm -hmm. Call me, uh, you know, in the fall. I'm pretty well sold down right now, but I, I'll have a lot of young trios come October. Mm -hmm. Get your pants and ball pants. Write this down, your number, please. Uh, my area code 918-775-0413. Can you repeat that? 918-775-0413. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got that. You know where to call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saka, Eddie boy, okay. I, I so. noticed that uh, I like the brooders that they have here. Yeah. yeah. Because they were they are designed such that the chicks will not trample with the feed yeah, and so. neither with the water. The water are outside. And they can reach them through a window. And the, the same with the, the feed, no? Yeah. yeah. And the inside, there's a curtain separating uh, the heater. Yeah, yes. right. from, it, the, from the outside. From the outside, electrically yes. generated. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh huh. Not, not, the, not the bulb that you know we normally see. No. But these ones are really designed for to, uh, for brooder. So it has nichrome wire heater. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. And the the bulb there is just for for lighting. Just for light. yeah, yes, yes. lighting. Yeah, lighting and to keep the the chicks calm. Mm -hmm. yes. So I'd like to call the attention of uh, the Filipinos na pwede natin kopyahin to. We can copy this. We can do it in the Philippines. Sizey boy can do it for us, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, because Definitely. we have a battery. We started the battery type of breeding, <laughs> and uh, some Mexican cages are being manufactured by his godson, uh, Sizey boy. Yeah, Sizey boy. And yeah. I believe if he will manufacture this, I'll buy a lot because yeah. you'll be assured of healthy chicks. Uh, how how long do you keep them in your brooders? I keep them in the brooders from three to four weeks, mm -hmm. and then I move them out under a tree. And within within two months old, they're up in the trees, mm -hmm. and and then they, they, they everything natural. Ah, uh, okay. So no wonder they're very healthy, huh? And then after that, 
uh, you you harvest them? I harvest them in the fall, yes. In the fall. Yeah. Uh, about about uh, what age? Uh, six months old. Six months Somewhere old. around six, eight months old. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, you keep them long on the, on the range? Keep them as long on the range as I can, yes. I think that's the healthiest way to raise them. Mm -hmm. You know, you lose a few more that way, but but you, I think you have a healthier individual when you catch them up. Right. So, I, I agree with you 110%. Uh -oh. I also noticed that uh, Americans tend to have, always have uh, breeders have this Pyrenees dog. Yes, we do. Uh -huh. They they seem to fit best for our program. Uh, they don't bother the chicks and the chicken? No, they don't bother the chicks. The good ones don't. Mm -hmm. You know, they, in fact, they look after them. That's, that's their their desire is to make sure nothing comes in. Uh -huh, for and the barmins. For the barmins to come in. Yes. Four legged and two legged. Four legged and two legged as well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a lot of those two legged barmins back home. Perhaps we should bring home some of this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they are as big as horses already. <laughs> the one I have here is bigger than most of them are. He's, he's an exceptional size one, though. Mm. The, the, the dog I have here, yes. Yeah. But uh, don't they eat too much? No, they don't eat too much. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Now they How eat... can a big dog eat a little? What? You'd be surprised. They don't eat any more than another dog does. Really? Really, yes. Mm. They're that efficient, huh? They're that efficient, yes. Oh, that's good news. Okay. Ayan po mga kabakbakan. Nakita nyo na, marami tayong natutunan. May natutunan tayo dito, partner. Mm -hmm. Yung brother nila, na magaling. Yeah. And then, siguro, mag-uwi ka ba ng aso nito? Hindi, hindi, wala akong paglalagay niyan. Lito ng bahay ko eh. Oh, sige, ayan po mga kabakbakan ng ating pinuntang Breeder of the Week. Walang iba kundi si Ginong Jeff Pierce. Bakbaka na!